Hi, this is Doug with a wood Engineering, and today I want to go over how to cut a board perfectly straight with just a handsaw. So maybe you're just making a garden bed or two, a simple, quick job, and you don't want to bring out the whole big chop saw with the extension cord and make a bunch of noise and chop off your fingers accidentally and have the wood spray and hit your kid in the head. So that's where a nice little hand tool comes in handy. So first step is securing the board. You can do this with vice clamps if you have them, if it's, uh, if it's a setup where you can use that. In this case, I'm just gonna use sheer weight. Ah, my kettlebell. You also just use some big rocks. Now with a tape measure. You mark it where you want and use a, a big enough square. This happens to be a 12 by 2 Douglas fir. So I need quite a big square to go all the way across. If you have a small square, you can kind of just draw a line on one side and then flip the square over to the other side to match up the line on the other side. Uh, I am going to use this small square though to draw another line vertically. So this will be our guideline, obviously. Then what I like to do, totally optional, but you can just take a knife and cut a small notch where you want to start your cut. This just helps guide the saw exactly where you want it, it doesn't, so the saw doesn't jump around when you're first starting. So go ahead and start your cut. You want to uh, let the saw do most of the work here. You're just focusing mostly on following the guideline. You're not trying to just rip through the board right away. So once you've gone all the way down the edge of the board at that 45 degree angle, you've kind of established a channel that you're going to use to help keep the cut straight as you go. Now you're still, even with this guide in place, the saw is still going to veer off a little bit here and there, inevitably. So what I like to do is use the push stroke to really get through the wood and then the draw stroke to reestablish your line if, if you happen to be going off of your draw line. So let's get to about halfway. So I made it about halfway with my dominant hand. Like I said, this is Douglas fir. Uh, it's still a little wet. And the sap might cause some binding of your saw. So as you go through, as you get towards the middle, and especially towards the end, it might you might find it's getting harder and harder. Also because maybe your cut isn't perfectly straight and it's kind of binding against the saw. Whatever the reason, what you can do now is bring out a solvent. Now this is not so much a lubricant as it is something that's dissolving this the, whatever sap might be in the wood that might be contributing to binding. And of course it has some lubricating action as well too. So uh, just do a tiny spritz on both sides of the saw. Now I, I was going right handed for the first part of the cut. I like to just switch up hands. This is a nice little workout so why not get both sides of your body kind of equally exposed. Now 
as you get towards the end, I'll switch back to my, my dominant hand here. Just want to hold the balance so that the, the piece doesn't fall and cause some splintering. And as you get really towards the end and there's just a little tiny thread of wood holding things in place, I like to switch, go backhand. you just prevent any big splinters from running down the board <clears throat> so as you can see that is perfectly straight uh, I do have some feathering here now just take a block sander and clean that up yeah, So that's about it that's how you cut perfectly straight with a handsaw so thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.